we're gonna go out and we're gonna race Betsy against Grandpa Truck in stock form. From there, it's kind of a race to uh, get them both turbocharged, and then of course we'll race them after. Cause, uh, well, he called me out, so we got. All right, here we go. <laughs> Piping, the cold side piping, the intercooler, electric fans, uh, bypass valves, and of course, big old turbo right there. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan. This is Auto Detour, and today is an exciting day. As you'll notice, we have the Viper over in a new parking spot here. The S8 is, uh, well, outside here somewhere and we have mark's focus rs in the driveway here so stay tuned we're going to do a review on that when we get the summer tires back on but uh, as you can see the uh the truck is finally in the garage and the turbo build is actually underway already so the goal today is to get the passenger side exhaust manifold off which we've already done actually and it went pretty smoothly, but these, the rearmost bolts were actually already broken and just kind of just hanging out in the hole here. And you can see on the exhaust manifold gasket here, it's been leaking out of that exhaust port for quite a while. So uh, that's kind of a bummer to see that, but we'll take a look in here. So these two bolts right here, these are the ones that are broken off and inside of there. We'll have to figure out a way to drill those guys out and uh, tap some new holes. But other than that, the other ones came out just fine. So like I've mentioned before, if you haven't watched the first video, um, this turbo kit is for a 4.6 liter. My truck is a 5.4 liter. So they have the same heads. So the it should bolt up just fine. But some things I'm concerned about here are some of the minor differences between my truck and the 4.6 liter. Uh, I'm assuming that this the uh, transmission tube here this is the dipstick for the transmission i'm assuming that's not there on the 4.6 i believe it's on the other side i might be wrong about that so we're gonna have to figure out a way to get that out of the way i believe but where we're at right now we've got that off i didn't film that i apologize i was just worried about getting that off seeing if it was even possible to do without breaking a bunch of stuff and we did it we got it off so um, I'm thinking this might be in the way. This is part of the air conditioning, but this can just be, this bracket can just be unbolted here and we can relocate that pretty easily. So my biggest concern really is whatever this canister is right here and the transmission dipstick. So right now I'm gonna run down to the basement, grab the turbo manifold, and we're gonna try to fit it in here and see, see what's in the way and see what we need to do to modify it going forward. All right guys, so it is the next day now. I do have the turbo manifold up here now. Um, and if we look here, we'll fit it in place. Sneak it in there. So as I already looked here, we do have an issue with, it almost fits. Can't quite get it to go up high enough because it's hitting this AC condenser canister. And uh, obviously this AC line up here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but that AC line is in the way. So obviously the AC on the 5.4 liter is different than the 4.6. So this is clearly not gonna be just a bolt-on project. So I have called in the cavalry. Eric is here. <laughs> you remember Eric from Racing Ram Fam. So we have made the executive decision to, instead of just piecemealing it together and figuring out what's gonna work and what isn't, we're just gonna go full send on it and get the front end torn off. We're gonna take off all the stuff that's gonna be on our way and build it from there. We'll relocate what we need to, like the- uh, AC parts. Yeah, the AC parts down here that are in the way. And then we have some electrical here that I've already unbolted. That can be moved. We may need to relocate the battery if necessary. But uh, here we go. No we'll turning back right. now. Yeah. Truck's gonna be turboed. All right. Boost. So uh, this isn't gonna be a step-by-step how-to video, but uh, I will keep updating you as we pull stuff apart and, 
and keep moving along here. So uh, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So I wasn't planning on taking this vlog outside today, but uh, my wife drove off with the GoPro on the hood, and we just found it sitting in the road over there. So. Oh, <laughs> got, I was hoping you recorded that we, whole thing. That got funny. super lucky. But uh, yeah, so let's head back into the garage. I'll give you a quick update on where we're at. So <laughs> I'm glad you guys are still with us. <laughs> All right, we're back in the garage now. Uh, Eric's making some great progress up top here. You can see we have the radiator cover, fan shroud, the fan is off, the intake's off. We got the battery and battery tray out. We have the AC. Receiver dryer out. Yeah. Wiring harness bracket out. Oh, now we just gotta take this AC line out of the way. We gotta bend this transmission dipstick tube out of the way, and then we gotta extract two bolts out of the head because this is a 5.4, and they like to break the bolts off in the head. So we'll show you how to extract some bolts with a welder and some nuts out of these aluminum head engines. Yeah, so the, as I showed you yesterday, the bolts were already mostly broken and once I gave them just even the slightest twist they broke the rest of the way off so I'm over here uh, getting the other exhaust manifold off this side the EGR is gonna have to come off because obviously we're not gonna be putting an EGR onto our header um, and then uh, yeah that's kind of where we're at start mounting some headers and see how much we have to cut the crossover tube to lengthen it because this is a wider V engine than the 4.6. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get a turbo mounted today on the header though. That'd be cool. Just to see what it looks like. Yeah, that'd be cool. So, and then we're going to get the, uh, eventually we'll get the front pulled off here so we can get intercooler piping ran down, get the intercooler mounted behind the bumper. But uh, that's where we're at for now. Update you again here in a little bit. All right, so as I mentioned a little earlier in the video here, two of the, uh, manifold bolts were broken so they're obviously stuck up in the uh in the head here so probably can't see anything both of those bolts this one and this one are stuck up in there so what eric's gonna do here he's gonna take a nut he's gonna place it over over the hole and weld the nut uh to the bolt in there and by by welding the nut to the bolt we should be able to put a wrench on it and back them out so uh he's gonna test how uh good my, <laughs> my piece of junk harbor freight welder is gonna do here so hopefully it does the job for us but uh yeah i'll let you guys know how it goes so we got or we eric got one of the uh one of the studs that were broken off out of there by welding that little uh, nubby on there with my welder. This uh, awesome Harbor Freight welder. We got one out, the other one. I'm gonna bring my welder over for more heat because this one does not get hot enough to actually like penetrate into the stud to get it out. It moves so I can tighten it, but I can't get it out because the threads are all yeah. jacked up. So I tried drilling it and that wasn't happening. So I just got frustrated and I'm gonna get my welder and get it out, <laughs> but. Yeah, so as you can see here, we got it uh, kind of mocked up in here. Certainly not in here permanently at the moment, but no, uh, but it looks awesome. But it looks, it looks awesome. I'm getting excited now that I'm seeing it getting pieced together here. A lot of progress today. But no, we got the header on on this side. It just got two bolts. It actually has a drill holding the header up right now because we don't have the actual header bolts. <laughs> yeah. But then we got the wastegate pipe in, and we got the turbo little 90 in with the flange, and then we got the turbo mounted up with some random bolts we found just for now, just to see how it looks. We're Tell the radiator hose is gonna have to go down. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to relocate that uh, receiver dryer. The battery looks like it can stay in the same place. We're gonna have to bend some AC lines on that side. And then I think that's about it. Move some wiring harness up. But I don't really see too much fabrication for moving for this turbo kit to fit. It actually doesn't look that bad. Yeah, so I mean, like I mentioned before, it is for the F-150, but for the 4.6. Uh, so obviously we have a few extra goodies over here that wouldn't have been on the other truck. But uh, yeah, it, we're getting it pieced together here. It looks like the battery's probably gonna be able to go back in its stock location here. We're gonna have to take the little hood heat thing off because it touches this, because this is about, hangs down about three inches. Yeah, we got a big pad here on the, but it's on my turbo Viper truck, I have about an eighth of an inch from the top of my turbo to my hood. It'll probably be 
about the same. <laughs> yeah. So. so, and this this is gonna we're gonna have to clock the the turbo here down so it's aiming down towards the intercooler. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're at now. Uh, we're making good progress here. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. We're we're uh, we're moving right along here. So I think next time we're gonna get that other stud out, and then we're gonna work on getting the crossover pipe and the other header in. See where we have to cut and lengthen that crossover pipe. So I'll probably have my welder here, so I'll be perfect. So we can just tack it up and then I can bring it home and actually TIG weld it. Or if he just doesn't care if it wants to be TIG welded. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah. That'll probably be the next step is us getting the other header on. Get that crossover pipe. And then after that, intercooler. All the intercooler piping is probably going to have to be a little modified, a little tweaked too. And then injectors and fuel system. And then truck goes on the dyno to get tuned. That's right. So I hope you guys are as excited as we are because this is, it's coming together. It's going to be sweet. Um, it's going to be definitely a, a sleeper in this old Ford F-150, but, uh, you know, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll continue on, on the truck. Hopefully the weather gets a little warmer here in the next couple of months. So we got the Vipers actually sitting under the cover over there. We'll get that guy out. Turbo the Viper. <laughs> what? What? One step at a time. Come One on. step at a time. Turbo bikers are fun. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And go subscribe to Eric on his channel, Racing Ram Fam. Keep it boosting. Yeah. We'll talk to you guys next time.